Welcome to part two of the TV wall mounting project. In part two, we are cutting holes. So currently I'm cutting a hole in the wall for my low voltage box so I can run my HDMI cable through the wall. If it already isn't obvious, I'm not very good with my camera mind skills. If it isn't becoming obvious, I really don't like having my face in videos. Also, I apologize for the very low quality in these videos. My dumbass recorded these in 720p, 30 frames a second, instead of 4K, 60 frames a second, like I did on the, my main phone. So uh, I was wondering why my fire outlets were so small. That explains why. You can see I'm just drilling into the drywall right now to get the drywall saw in there easily. At least I was drilling, I'm not right this moment, I'm trying to get the drywall saw out. But. I was drilling holes to try and make those bends easy and uh, not screw up the drywall too bad because I don't cut holes in drywall very often if it's not obvious enough. You can see how I'm cutting right in this clip. You can see why I wanted to drill some extra holes, but it got the job done and it looks good now. Now would probably be a good time to mention a low voltage box that I chose for this project. It came with a template to install it because it's a old work all-in-one style box for low voltage. I promise shortly here I redo the angle for this video and uh, it looks better. You can see right here I got the hole cut and now I'm just going to put the low voltage box in place for a test fit and make sure it uh, fits in there properly. I took a bunch of footage out of here because most of it was just you staring at my back. I kept this little bit because this is where I'm fishing the wire through. And uh, I don't think anyone wanted to sit through just more of staring at my back, so. Through the day. finished product down at the bottom where you can see it for the low voltage side. Here's where I finally fixed my cameraman skills and actually got a good angle that you can see what's going on. You can see when I was drilling this hole I pulled out a little bit of insulation because it hooked on the drill bit. I was trying to avoid that that made it harder to pull the impact out. In a second here you'll see me uh, pulsing the trigger and that's just so I don't catch the ins insulation like that again, which actually, I only say that because that worked. I don't know if it was just a fluke or what it was, but it worked perfectly for that. I apologize for there being no audio, that phone has a screwed up microphone, half the time it works, half the time it doesn't. This was the time that it didn't work. Here I am now cutting in the hole for the high voltage recessed box. Originally it wasn't going to be a recessed outlet, but I realized that I should probably do recessed because I don't know how well it's going to fit behind the TV. Recessed was the way to go because it fit perfectly now. Seen a world by the side, but the side for a miracle. Do you feel satisfied? That's the roses went out of Now 
here's the part where I'm test fitting the old work box for the recessed outlet to make sure that it actually fit in the hole that I just cut is. There was no template for this. I kind of just took the pencil, traced out the box, and hoped for the best, basically. Not a great way of doing this, if I'm honest. As you can see, we got Inspector Chaos down there inspecting the work, making sure it's done correctly. Now we're moving on to the electrical box down below the TV where I'm going to be plugging in the TELUS box. I added this one for the entertainment center below which just has a TELUS box and when I sit down there my PS5. I should probably state that I did, after cutting the first hole, check to make sure there was no power where I was cutting about halfway through. Not a great time to check, by the way, because there was power right below, and I'm going to po point out where it is during this voiceover here. Did a test fit, and you can see that the box needed a little bit of a trim, but it fits in perfectly after that. And that is all for part two. Thanks for watching. Okay, so now you can see I'm in the other room. I'm doing the other one's electrical box. I bought a new work box because there's this giant hole that I wanted to try and make use of, which is for an intercom, but you can see that my box didn't fit the way I wanted it to, so it would be right behind the TV mount. So I ended up scrapping that idea, and we'll get to that part in a minute. But for now, we're doing low voltage. If we never change You get to watch me continue to struggle and try and fit this stupid electrical box in place, but there was no possible way I could fit it in that hole and have it so I could plug something in. So I gave up. Right about here is where I gave up on trying to fit that electrical box, because it was not going. Right here is where I went to install the low voltage box, but I had realized I bought just a low voltage cover plate. I did not buy a low voltage all-in-one box like I was wanting. Although I did make it work, I should have put a low voltage plate in place as well. And in the future, I might actually go in and do that when I go ahead and replace a bit of wire that I need to do and, a cert and the outlet that I put in. Right about here, you see me using the HDMI cable to get a rough measurement of where I need to put the low voltage box. What I would have done is I would have put it next to the outlet, or at least level with the outlet I should say. But due to not having a longer HDMI cable and wanting to get this project done and working, I just raised up the height of the low voltage box to accommodate the length of the HDMI cable. And at this part here, you can see me visually expecting where the wire is in the wall, because I know there's power where that outlet is. So I just want to see if it was lower down, or right where I was going to be cutting. So you can see me here tracing out where I'm going to put the low voltage plate, or what they called on the package, a cable access plate. I'm tracing it the way I am because this one didn't have a template and this is when I realized that this box, is, or this plate, is not meant to be mounted directly in the wall like this. Which is why I will replace this one in the future. Like a scene, straight off the silver screen so I'll be holding my breath Right up till the end, until that moment when I find the one that'll spend Right here is where I realized that my hole was just slightly too small and I had to cut it a little bit bigger to get that plate to fit in there properly. But in the end it all worked out. Push 
shouldn't have played in like that. Big mistake. I should have waited until I was done. That was a bitch to get out. And damn it, this feels too right. It's just like deja vu. Me standing here with you, so I'll be holding my breath. Could this be the end? Is it that moment when I find the one that'll spend forever with? Turning the power back on now that I can, because I'm not cutting near a live wire. Just checking to make sure there's no studs or wires or anything in my way where I want to put this out. Then. Now I'm tracing out where I'm going to put the outlet so I can cut the hole. Tracing out where I'm going to put the outlet so I can cut the hole. Oh hey, look, the audio's working again. My life in their hands. There's gotta be somebody for me. Else test their drill or impact like that at this I switched sides like that because I was afraid I was going to cut into the wire that I had right. Now I'm trying to cut the hole properly to get this box to fit. This was kind of a pain in the ass, but I eventually got it in. Like 
said long journey, but a short road on the Lord knows. You can see I've mostly got it to fit, but I had to remove that clamp that clamps under the back of the drywall on the one side due to the fact that it was too close to the stud. So I ended up screwing that side into the stud and using the clamp on the other side. The hole is still slightly too small though. At this point, I was trying to put that other clamp back in, but this is where I realized that I couldn't get it to fit. The audio quit working at some point in this project at this part, but I don't know exactly where, so yeah. No suits. Bad motherfuckers just rolled up Yeah Firecracker Short fuse I pulled the plug out on you like a corkscrew No limit No curfew Yeah To get everything I wanted in this lifetime I had to put my beliefs on the front line In every song that I sing Tell my baby it'll be another late night I lift work eight hours after midnight No breaks, no sleep And it's always been you and me You know it's always been you Short change, still hate it. Poor thing, middle fingers up, tell you one more thing. Yeah, can't hear me, let me tone it down. I'm slow by nature from a small town. And that is all for part two. Thanks for watching.